All right, we're gonna go over how to do the bevel gear next. So I've got my uh, framework that I used to build my uh, chain drive on. And all I did was take off one set of the bushings. So I have one set left on here and I took the other ones off. Uh, mine, the hole for the axle is on the fourth hole from the edge. So if you're going, you don't have to do it right at the same spot I did, but if you wanna be able to line stuff up the same way I do, then you'll want it to be right here. The fourth hole from the edge, the second hole down from the top is how I've done mine. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do in order to do the bevel gear, this is gonna to have to be reattached to the build plate. It cannot just be left loose or the bevel gear will not work. So we're gonna take off two of the red screws on the back here and put the right angle plate back on. That's the first step. Okay, now you're going to want this uh, metal bracket piece for the other part of your bevel gear. Okay, the bevel gear is two gears that meet at a right angle like this. So that's what we're doing right here. They are these, these green pieces right here. See how they're at an angle? Okay, so the goal is to get them to meet at a right angle. It'll actually be just like this is how we're gonna get them to meet. So you can see there'll be a 90 degree angle how they'll meet, and that's how their teeth will inter interlock with each other. So that's our goal. Okay, so we're gonna put this um, framework on the build plate, and we're going to put this bracket on the build plate also. Now I'm gonna take my framework and move it over one, so it's not on the very edge. There's one empty row here. So see how it's not right on the edge like that? I've moved it in one row. Again, you don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it, but uh, if you do, then you'll know you'll be able to get it to line up just right. So to put my right angle piece onto the build plate, I'm going to use blue screws and hex nuts, hex nuts, Let's see, that's the one with the teeth on it, those go underneath. All right, so you can see it's fastened on, but it's one row in. That's how I've done it. Okay, next I'm going to take this metal bracket and I'm going to put it on the build plate again with blue screws. And I'm going to put it, let me check how I wanna do this. So 
So I'm going to put this also one row of holes in from the edge. And I'm gonna use two blue screws. Now, if you don't have enough blue screws, you can use green screws for this step. Uh, the red screws won't be long enough, but green screws will work also. So I'm gonna put a couple blue screws in there. And again, hex nuts underneath. So you can see it's not right on the very edge. The screws are in the second row of holes here which is the same place that the edge of my framework is in. Okay? All right. So next, I'm just going to check with my axles and see, make sure things look like they're going to line up. And they do look like they're going to line up. But it looks like I'm going to have to use this furthest the holes that are on the edge instead of the hole that's in the middle. I could probably get it lined up if I use the hole that's in the middle, but I'm just going to use the hole that's on the edge because it'll work just fine. So I'm still going to take my bushing, okay, and I'm going to use green screw, two green screws actually, but instead of like before where I put one on each edge, I'm going to put one in the middle and one on the edge and leave this furthest the edge closest to the frame, I'm gonna leave empty. So I'm gonna need a few more hex nuts here. Make sure I get them good and tight. I'm just going over the other screws that I'd put in to make sure that those are tight and nothing's gonna wobble around. All right, so you can see this None of this stuff is wiggling at all. It's all in there very solid. So now I'm gonna need another bushing here, okay? On the back side of this bracket right here. And again, I'm going to use green screws. And again, they're gonna go in the middle hole and the hole that's furthest from that other frame. And they will need hex nuts on the inside. All right, so next I'm going to again check with my axles and just make sure it looks like it's gonna line up okay. They're not, they're not perfectly uh, level with each other, but I think it's still going to be good enough that it will still work. So the next step is I'm going to take this uh, bevel gear and put it on the axle here. And I can see that it's at least close to where the other bevel gear is going to be. So I'm going to take the other bevel gear and put it on this axle and see if they look like 
they're going to line up with each other. It looks like they're actually going to be too close, maybe. Hmm. So they're not quite lining up with each other the right way. So instead of making a brand new video, I'm going to show you that even teachers have to do some problem solving and some figuring out to see how to get things to line up just right sometimes. And even though I had kind of planned it out, it didn't work perfectly, but that's okay. Now we're gonna try this way. So I'm gonna put my axle back in here. But now I'm going to put this axle through the middle hole. I took the green screw out of there. I forgot to say that while I was doing it. I took the green screw out of the middle hole and I'm gonna see if this fits in the middle hole better and maybe everything will line up better. Let's see. So it appears as though everything's going to be, is going to line up and work just fine. It's not quite perfect, but it's really, really close to how it should be. It's a little bit rough, but it's still, it's functioning. So what I need to figure out is how to keep these gears from sliding back and forth, right? Okay, because this gear can slide off here, can slide back, and then they're not touching. So we gotta get everything to, to, to meet up just right. All right, so I can see as I'm testing this out, the axle here that's in the bracket is gonna go right up against the bushing. I don't need any kind of uh, collar behind it, but this axle, you can see, has a gap. So I need to put a collar in there so that I can keep this axle from sliding backwards towards the frame. So I'm gonna take this back out and put a collar on there. And then put my gear back on there and check it. Okay, so the collar, you can see there's gonna be just, oh, fell out of there. It's gonna, going to be just a little bit of a space right there. So I'm gonna need to make sure I get my collar good and tight with my hex driver. So I'm gonna tighten my collar there. Oh, whoops, I did that wrong. The collar, nope, never mind. That's right, that's right where it should be. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this collar and I'm going to put it in here, in there. So that way this doesn't push back. I've got the gear locked in, but I gotta keep the axle from pushing back. And there's, and I need just a little bit of a space, and my collar isn't gonna fit in there. If I put a, a second collar in there, it's gonna stick out too far. So what I need to do is put a collar here to keep that from pushing back. So I'm gonna take this axle back out and push it through the collar. This is my collar that doesn't want to work. Okay, so then I'm going to put this back in here and figure out where, how to get everything lined up so that these two gears stay pressed against each other. So I'm going to push this collar back against this metal plate and then I'm going to tighten it.
Okay, so that's not gonna go anywhere. That's locked in there. And when I turn this one, the other one turns. If I turn this one, they're, they're working right now. I'm just gonna put a collar on the back of this bevel gear here. Also notice that the axles don't stick very far out of the front of my bevel gears, because if they do, the axles are gonna run into each other and cause the bevel gears to not be able to line up just right. So my axles are flush with the front of my bevel gear. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a collar here on the back side. Just putting it right here. Tighten that. All right, so see how this collar here is right against this plate, but there's a little bit of a gap between that collar and the bushing. See that? But this won't move. It moves a little bit, but not very much. And then this one is locked into place too, so that when I turn them, see it spinning? And if I turn this one, you can see it's spinning. Bevel gears are always a little bit rough like that. It's just the way things line up. This one, this collar's not quite where I want it. I'll move it back a little bit tighter against the plate there. It was getting just a little bit loose and they weren't quite turning right. And there we go. You can see that if I turn this one, the other bevel gear moves. If I turn this one, the one I was turning before moves. So it is working just fine. And there is your bevel gear. When you take a picture of it, take try and take a picture of it either from up above or maybe like this. You just want to make sure that I can see the gear, okay? You don't want to take a picture of it like this because I won't be able to see the gears. So just make sure I can see the gears, you know, however you take your picture. And I gotta be able to see that they're touching. So the up above would, would work the best because then I can see that they're touching.